A Hartford County woman is behind bars right now, charged with setting that deadly fire that took the lives of three people at an illegal boarding house in Edgewood. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the suspect and how police were able to solve this case. Jeff? Well, Kelly, if you look closely, you'll recognize 60-year-old Bobby Sue Hodge as one of the survivors we spoke with after the deadly fire. And now police say she was the one who actually set the townhouse on fire. This video captured by a neighbor shows the inferno as fire spread through the townhouse on Simon's Court at Edgewood and Bobby Sue Hodge getting out just in time. Well, we were in the basement. We got woke up by one smoke alarm. Hours later, a dejected Hodge sat alone with her dog and a few items she had saved, grieving for the three people who did not make it out alive. They were all good people. They were all good people. I hope and pray to God, God took their souls to heaven to be with him. Two months later, family members filed into the Hartford County Sheriff's Office to learn an investigation into the deadly fire has ended with Hodge's arrest. After hundreds of hours of interviews, our detectives were unable to unravel the layers of stories and evidence to successfully charge Bobby Sue Hodge. Physical evidence from the fire pointed to arson. They determined the origin of the fire to be located in the townhome's second floor living room and the cause of the fire to be incendiary in nature. According to charging documents, one of the people who died in the inferno had made a phone call claiming Hodge set the fire. And witnesses say they saw her leaving the second floor living room just as the flames first appeared. Days earlier, Hodge had made threats that she would burn down the townhouse. There were things that were said uh, by the suspect in this case prior to the fire that um, caused some of the other residents concern. Had they ever reached law enforcement or There anyone? had been calls to service at the house. Calls which apparently never hinted at the threat posed by a woman who could commit arson as people slept in the middle of the night and could appear to grieve for them hours later. We thank you guys for helping us. Thank the fire department, the police. It's just a blessing they all got here in time. But it's sad that three people did perish in animals. Hodge is being held at the Harford County Detention Center with no bail on a series of charges, including arson and three counts of first-degree murder.